So uh, very often our buildings are former teacher cottages um, that the government would not have been up doing any upkeep. But each settlement is a very different size and they have very different needs. Okay. So um, I have a library in Hatchet Bay, for instance, that has only um, a thousand titles in it. But then you go down to Green Castle, which is one of our, I would say, a flagship library in Green Castle. Um, and that library has over 4,000 titles in it. But at one point in September, I was just like, this is so foolish because we have all these computers that we've just brought in yeah. in November of, of um, 2018. November, pandemic started 29, uh, 2020 in March. So it'd been like 16 months they'd been there. All these computers. And it was like, our kids here have access to no devices. Um, some don't have internet, some don't, but they have no way to do online schooling. You could take better with Skype and Zoom and other online platforms for live um, meetings and stuff because we weren't really set up for that in our libraries. That wasn't a focus necessarily, right? So we need to change the image of the community, re-image them. And I gave them away. The Ministry of Education would tell us that, you know, I mean, even upwards of, you know, 40% of Bahamian students, even more than that, I'm sure we can probably look that up to verify it, but um, we're actually completely disenfranchised from online learning for two years. Mm -hmm. So that's huge in an island nation of less than 500,000 people.